What is up everybody? Welcome back to Pinoy Pounds. And in this segment, we're gonna talk a little bit about the marketplace and, and, and with Marv. Talk to me a little bit about your experience, what it was like back then and, and now in Top Shot, and what have you seen so far with the marketplace? I'll walk you through it and some of the things that you've liked so far that they've done, Dapper Labs, and in terms of improving the marketplace to make it more user-friendly or easier for us. As um, what I like about the marketplace now is it has more information about the moment you're buying. Like you can see uh, the listed price for these moments when you sell and you can check the sales history easily. Like before you had to go to third party websites like evaluate.market to see how much those moments sold for. And uh, so usually I check the sales history of these moments and how much of these moments have been distributed. So I check how much are still in packs, what percentage is listed. Yeah, so like those things, I think those things are important because some uh, kind of give structure or a process into how I select the moments I purchase or sell. Yeah, so, I think one of the things I saw here too, that they have the, the average price. So it's something that we never had before. So I don't know if you guys yeah, can see yeah. it. So I have the, like I chose the Kevin Durant moment that's one of the probably greatest Top Shot moments. That's not a Top Shot debut. You can now see the average price, right? Of average yeah. sale of the pro how much people have been paying for Kevin Durant. And you can make a decision, right? You can check now how many is available, right? One thing I like yeah. too is, I don't know if you, I think this is what you're talking about, right? This feature of Top Shot yeah, now that shows you one, how many one. is owned, how many is hidden in packs, you know, how many is still um, burn or unavailable. So now you can see that Majority of the pa of the moments, for example, Durant, his Migo, uh series two, 36 are only hidden in packs. So the rest are basically up and open. But the only thing is that only 34% out of that 40, um, 429 are not for sale, but only 34 is. You can check the percent, how much people are willing to sell yes, it. Yes. Right? And I like that we now have like what, like history and buyers. You can see the, the view sales history. Right, so before I think we yeah. never had the sales history, so you kind of have to look at a third-party website for that. What do you mean? Yeah, what is something really else helped that... with the decision making? Exactly. What is something yeah. new that they've recently done to that you've enjoyed? Uh, that made your experience a lot more fun being in the um, top shop marketplace. I think with the showcase quests, uh, they well, made are... it like really user-friendly. Yeah, like, that's what I was before just you had to make your own showcase and you also have to use another like a third party website to check if uh, the showcase you made uh, is like valid or it would uh, count. So now uh, you can verify it itself on the website and uh, if you're lacking some moments to complete the showcase challenge, um, you can easily buy it in the marketplace, right? Like. Mm -hmm. um, like the there are prompts to guide users, so I think those things uh, it may be little, but it helps the user experience uh, makes the user experience more convenient. Yeah. Like speaking of like convenience, talk, like one of the best feature that I liked about Top Shot is their showcase, right? So this is where I kind of you know dig into. I call this like kind of the welcome to my crib kind of version of. Yeah. Um, Top Shot, where you kind of walk me through your favorite moments in Top Shot that you have in your collection. So I've opened one that you've sent to me, which is your Top Shot debut. Talk to me about the moments in this collection. Why, why have these moments? What made you decide to collect them? What was it like getting through them? Is there a story behind getting one of them? Talk to me through these uh, Top Shot debuts that you have. Ideally, like, I would have bought um... Top shot debuts of like LeBron, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Giannis, uh, Jamoran, Zion. But uh, I've been pretty much priced out uh, with those moments. So I just try to buy moments of players I believe in, like uh, like young guys like Luca, Brandon Ingram, Bam Adebayo. Uh, so those guys, uh, the price of their moments are are like they're a bit high now, but I think it still has some room to increase. 
uh, since I expect them to play better in the coming seasons. I also bought moments of players I think were going to be Hall of Famers in the future, like Chris Paul and Kawhi Leonard. Like, even if their careers ended today, I'm pretty sure that uh, they are shoe ins in the Hall of Fame. Then I also bought uh, moments of players who I expect to have a big season uh, this coming year, like Paul George with Kawhi out, uh, mm-hmm. Bradley Beal uh, being the main guy now with Washington, and Zach Levine with, uh, with their uh, new reinforced uh, Bulls team. Like I expect them to have huge years uh, next year. So when I buy moments, like I said, from buying uh, moments of players I like, I also try to forecast or like make a bet on how they will perform in the coming season. Uh, so, because uh, like the better they perform, uh, the more uh, awards or like attention they get, I, uh, it would probably help uh, the value of their moments. Totally agree with that. I mean, uh, this is a great collection of Top Shot debut. For our audiences out there that are looking to get into Top Shot or collect, I mean, that's a great kind of um, insight and, and mindset and planning strategy when collecting Top Shot. Have moments of players that if their career ends today, their you know legendary status has already been solidified in, in, in the league and buy ones that have potential to make some noise or really potentially be in the conversation in terms of like championship, MVP, all-star, or um, Hall of Fame status, right? So that's a really great strategy. And for collectors out there, having these kind of players, I mean, I own a couple of them. I own uh, Brandon Ingram as well as Bam Adebayo. Um, I didn't get a chance to purchase the others, but the, these are great moments to to have. And Top Shot debut is always going to be one of those coveted moments in, in, in Top Shot. So, Marv, thank you for this. But, you know, we still yeah. got a last segment to go to, so I know we're out of time for this one. But when we come back, we're going to talk yeah. more Top Shot, but we're going to talk a little bit more about the Asian men, right? And what it stands for, and yeah. also the Top Shot community in the Philippines. So for you guys, stay tuned when we come back. This is how we're going to end it off with the blast, right, guys? <laughs> 